that's a storm is going to be very powerful. It's going to hit the United Kingdom. It's going to bring heavy rain as well. People, United Kingdom, be prepared. Have your rubble tidy, wrinkle tidy, your rental tidy. When you go for a walk, don't walk too far. Because it's going to be a lot of rain and very strong winds. And don't open up your umbrella or your umbrella can get broken. Make sure to have your canned foods ready. Buy cases of Pepsi, buy cases of Coke. And order your food at your local restaurant. Make sure to have your iPad search. Have your iPods search. Have your cell phones search. Have your laptops search. Have your tablets search. Have your 3G and 4G ready. Because it's going to be a big, powerful storm to hit United Kingdom on Tuesday, October the 21st, 2014. With wind driven rain. It's going to rain sideways. It's also going to affect Scotland, Ireland, France, and Netherlands as well. Make sure to have your flashlights ready. Have your candles ready. Have your extra batteries ready. Have your generators ready. Have your battery operator lanterns ready. When you're driving the car, watch out for fallen tree branches. Since the storm is going to be very powerful in United Kingdom on Tuesday, October the 21st, 2014. If you have anybody living in the United Kingdom, be prepared for a powerful storm on Tuesday, October 21st, 2014. Best luck to you. People in the United Kingdom, be prepared for a powerful storm on Tuesday. Take care. Stay safe. And don't get caught in a powerful storm. Stay dry and be safe. All right, uh, thank you, Frankie. I, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that Frankie is smoking marijuana when he gives weather reports. I am totally convinced. Now, just picture yourself. If you're a marijuana smoker, if you're a marijuana smoker, all right, just picture yourself. You just got through smoking you a nice size joint. You feeling it? You feeling good? You turn on the radio. And this guy giving you a weather report. Okay, I don't need to say nothing else, all right? So you know what I'm talking about, all right? But that's Frankie, the weather guy. That We like him here. He's very popular here on B97. So thank you, Frankie, and the people in the United Kingdom. Be prepared. Have you, what do you say, iPod charge and you, shit, whatever. Just be fucking repaired. Just be prepared, alright? I know it's coming, because I already done Googled it, and yeah, you do have a powerful storm coming. It's probably not powerful that Frankie was said, it said you know, how powerful it's going to be, but Frankie, he takes his weather very seriously, alright? Alright? i never seen it rain sideways before, but... Maybe it does. Maybe it does. All right. Let's shoot on over. I'm telling you. Let's shoot on over. Hey, now, you guys been here on the news. Now, I'm pissed off. You know that young lady, that nurse in Texas. Now, I don't know if they're trying to throw her under the bus about the Ebola thing. She was a nurse, and she took care of the guy that just passed away of the Ebola. And now, they just throwing her under the bus. Come out. Uh, she should have been well more protected and all this stuff. I don't know. I don't know. So, that's why I got my man Kevin from Craft Nation here today. And he's pissed off. I'm pissed off. I've been hearing this stuff on the news and stuff. Uh, let, let me just stop. Kevin. Man, what's going on, man? Why they why they fucking with this girl right here in Texas for? Nation, what's going on? How are you guys feeling today? Hope you're doing well. Trying to stay positive. You know, letting the mind think positive so the positive chemicals can surround your brain and the negative stuff can be out your way because we live in a world where it's full of negativity. I want to take this time to say, make a special video to, what is it, Nina Pham, the woman who, um, Caught the Ebola from that guy that came from Liberia. I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. But I know her name is like Nina Pham. She's, she's down in Texas. She's a nurse. She was working and operating, you know, treating this guy who came in. I think his name is Mike. But anyways, he passed away. He had Ebola. He came in there and spread it the Ebola to her. 
Now, I just want to say to her, you know, because they did a background on, you know, she's a devoted, you know, Catholic woman who cares for other people. And, her, you know, she, she accomplished a lot in her life. And don't nobody deserve to die for no apparent reason. So I hope that this woman make it through. And I want to say, if you see this video, Nina, look. People like me, I appreciate that. I don't know the guy you treated, but you're a good person. You know, you could have said, fuck that shit. I don't want to have nothing to do with this. He got Ebola. You know, you could have did what a lot of people would do. So, you know, but she put her life at risk by treating this man. And she didn't contact it now. And now she's fighting for her life. So I just wanted to say in the video, my heart goes out to her and her family. I'm going to pray for you and yours. Stay strong. We need more people like you, Craft Nation. You know how we do it. We say positive things. You know, because this is serious. You catch Ebola, you can check up out of here. And who wants to be checking up out of here earlier than they should be checking up out of here, you know? So my heart goes out to the people who contacted Ebola, you know what I'm saying? And especially this woman who actually could have stayed away from the situation, but yet still put herself in harm's way by helping out somebody who had the, um, who, who had the disease. So at the end of the day, I just wanted to say, hey. You're a very special person. I don't know you, you know, and I wouldn't mind meeting you after you get rid of that shit, you know, but I'm not, you know, I, I, it, it, it's, 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 it's real out here, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's that... <sighs> Fucking light. As black as I am, are you going to do this bullshit to me? That vi I just seen that article and it just made me feel a certain way. That's it, you know. I'm about to get out of here because the light told me to get the fuck out of here because I'm too black now. You guys can't see me. But you can hear me. So listen to this. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Follow me on Twitter. You know, Google+. Plus. Leave a comment, a positive comment for this woman who actually put her life on the line to help somebody else, and guess what? She caught the disease, you know? Very special punk woman right there. Them the true fucking heroes right there. Fuck Iron Man, Superman, and all of them. Them is the heroes. The people who put their life on the line for real, okay? I'm gone. Deuces. Deuces. All right, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, if you can listen to Kevin just now, I think he kind of likes her. I think he like her. Yeah, he said, yeah, I like to meet you once you get rid of, uh, you know, <laughs> but that's Kevin from Craft Nation. That's Kevin from Craft Nation. All right, guys, you know what I was telling you about a little earlier. Now, uh, that, you know, you white people have your soap operas, you know, like, as the world turn, one life to live, uh, all my children. Is that still on all my children? Uh, Bo and the Beautiful. And, uh, hell, I don't know. I, I don't watch none of them. But, African Americans, we have our own soap opera now, which is the Love and Hip Hop franchise. Okay, you have Love and Hip Hop in Atlanta, Love and Hip Hop in LA. And now we got Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, okay? For the last uh, four weeks, we've been following this young lady who sends me her gossip, her uh, two cent on the what's going on. And see, what she does, she she keeps, she said, I like to send you things, what's going on in each episode. If I can keep your listeners uh, up on how the storyline is going and stuff and be prepared of the next episode. So, you know, it, Love and Hip Hop episode uh, one, season, no, uh, season one, episode five is coming up. So, uh, she's going to remind us uh, what went on in episode four. Okay, what went on in episode four. So, uh, let's swing on over. So, Leah, tell us uh, anybody miss. Episode 4 of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. What'd they miss? We're gonna have some fun tonight. Y'all ready? Let's do this. So, little bits of Mariana Soldier Boy are playing basketball, fellowshipping. Now, Mariana's like, we got babies, we got tours. I said, I know y'all got babies. The jury is still out on the tour, though. Soldier Boy is telling them that Nia wants to move in and he wants to take a step, but of course, he's scared. Mariana's talking about his situation with his mama in April. Little bits, of course, with Amanda and he wants to move forward with her. All this talk, babies and houses and moving in and girlfriends, but nobody's talking about marriage. Like, nothing about I'm about to go see this jeweler, buy my girl the fattest rock out there. The way young men lock women down nowadays is a tattoo on the neck, a baby. If they want to play house, you go in and play house. I'm going to let them be great with that. Y'all didn't tell me Nikki Baby's mama was Morticia Adams from the Adams family? When did she get that edge 
ketchup. Our ketchup is looking better than Amarion's because he still got that patch missing on the side of his face. Talks of Molly Maul come up, and of course, you cannot mention Molly Maul without mentioning Masika. Nikki is telling her mom that this is the jump off that he's been seen with, pictures, Instagram. Her mom was like, unbelievable. You know, you're a diamond, and he basically left you for a cubic zirconium. That's what he did. And so he finally got Young Bird to take her out in public. They go on their little date, come back to Hazel's spot because Sierra doesn't live there anymore. And he's like, so you gonna show me around or is this like a drop off? Hey gay, you gonna bust a wide open for a goon or do I gotta call one of my other homegirls because you know I will. Bird is trying to get her turned up and drunk because he already shown what he came to do. Hazel E trying to tell him about Sierra. He over there fake listening like, just take one more ship. I'm listening till you take one more ship. Well, the morning after, whatever he did to her, it got her deep in her feelings. Hazel tries to come down and cuddle with Berg. He got up with the quickness. He was like, uh-uh, I don't do all that cuddle, cuddy buddy, cuddle stuff. Hazel E hits Berg with the eight years of side chick story. Bird, baby, like, you know I love you. I, I thought we were really gonna, like, be something. But after the night that we had last night, you can't really sit here and tell me that you don't really want me. I mess with you the long way. The mother girls, they want you for your money. And I'm here, you know, I love you, Christian. B-E-R-G, hold it down. Look, this and Amanda go on a nice romantic date. Coasting in their little canoe boat thing. In that nasty long beach water. Okay, I'm jealous. I didn't get to go on the boat in the nice little Long Beach water. This dude took me to the community pool knowing that all the little kids be peeing up in there. What, what, what were we talking about? I don't know how we... Well, man is just looking out towards the sea. All of a sudden, bitch just grabs her face and kisses her like... That's probably how Amanda would have reacted, but if that was me, my boy, <laughs> okay, you don't know me, I'll come up out these clothes in a minute. Fizz is really trying to put this family thing on Amanda. Amanda is no fool. I am here for Amanda. I thought Fizz was playing a woman with just Monique. So he's playing kind of that womanly role with Amanda, so it seems like Amanda is acting more like a guy would act. Fizz already admitted that she had infidelity issues. I'm like, Amanda, you done cheat. Girl, you try it. She's smart, okay? She's thinking about this family thing. Let me think, okay? Let me think. Crazy baby mama. Baby, I gotta be his mama. I got all dudes from around the way, but y'all know at me. Whew, Jesus. It's pressure. It's pressure. Morgan and Sierra make up. Morgan invited Masika over. When Masika comes, of course, you have to mention Nikki Baby and Molly Ma. They talk about the rumors that are going on. Masika, she's not threatened by Nikki. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Marion and his mother are having a mother-son moment. They're at this healthy spot, drinking wheatgrass. Miss Leslie is drinking it, but she like, If I gotta drink this nasty wheatgrass stuff, that's what I'll do. But I need you to continue to have this money flowing to me, okay? Okay. Now pass me another shot of that wheatgrass. We get to this setup of a scene with Young Berg and his Ariana Grande looking date at the ASCAP Awards. I don't know how, but Hazel E was somehow invited and she just strolled herself on through there. That's how you know it's just a setup. Like, Hazel E, what are you doing at the ASCAP Awards? And of course, she sees Young Berg with the young Ariana Grande. They probably found her on a random casting call. Young Berg probably don't know her from a can of paint. She didn't know that she was going to get slapped up in the face with, with some juice and stuff. Mona just probably told her. Now listen, she's crazy. She's in love with this little munchkin. She might try something. If you get something splashed on you, I will give you a bonus, okay? So Berg all looking like... I'm like, Berg, if you don't stop it with the extras, now you know she was coming through there. He splashes the drink and then walks out. Bada bing, bada boom. It's April's baby shower, yay! She looks so beautiful. April is just a very, very beautiful woman. From what I can see of the party and the extras that they hired to be there, it looked great. I'm mad they didn't invite me. I only live right down the street. But anyway, in walks Miss Leslie. You can just sense the depression and trouble just all up over. Are you ready for this? Because having a baby is a lot of work. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm most certainly ready. Um, I've been waiting on this my entire life. We really ain't got no choice. Now, you know what I'm saying? We really ain't got no choice. I don't think you're ready to be a mother. You know what? I done had about enough of your mother. Wait, 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 wait,
wait, wait, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Mama Leslie strikes again. You better get her, Amari, before I do. I felt really bad for April. The fact that she had to get up and walk away, and Amari was just like, go, 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 just bye, 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 get out of here. Amari, you need to cut your mama off. Enough is enough. If you want April and you want